Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to more placements. Placement game five, and yes, it's my third game of Vex. As I said, I'm taking this season more seriously, so we are maining champions now. Bringing up the Oloda Madu, it is a... Well, these people have been placed. 10 games, platinum three. 12 games, platinum three. So that's our MMR right now. We're against a Vlad main, but he's lost his two games that he's had so far. But we'll see how it goes. So our top lane and bot and our Tarika duo, which is a bit of a weird duo. This Vlad is an invader, by the way. On Porifest it says invader, which is a bit odd. Oh, my nose. Rosa with a gifty sub. Either much Rosa. Predator Tarek. I, I've seen Tarek still. Ooh. Spoon! Okay. Spoon of the thousand plus ultra. Thank much. Spoon. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I don't know how this matchup goes. I think it can go okay, but I also I'm a bit scared that eventually the Vlad might just walk over me and there's not a lot I can do about it, but we'll see. We shall see. Honestly, you taunt yourself just by being you. Oh, Diego. Oh god, he's in this match. Okay. I mean, he's whatever, I guess. Can get the also that auto off. Hit the damage after he uses Q, therefore he actually takes damage. If you do it before he uses Q, he'll just heal it straight away. Okay, there's an exception there because I make him time out. That's pretty good. Can I maintain my 100% first blood status on Vex? I've played this is my third game of Vex, the first two. I've had first blood. Can I get first blood in this match too? You know I'm going to go for it. Oh. <laughs> I'm allergic to cannon minions, everybody, okay? It's a condition. He's being toxic, the shadow. Don't be toxic, the shadow. Does anybody else wish shadow talked? Or would that ruin it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it would ruin it. so close. That might be my first blood. <laughs> Shadow shouldn't talk. Ooh. Wait. My AD car- Oh. Huh. Apparently, by the way, uh, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently Diana, since the buff that they did of her passive, is now insanely broken. The only thing I did see, I saw a Diana who wasn't overly fed, actually had more deaths than kills at 22 minutes into a game. Solo Baron. Uh, like genuinely uh... Spoon with a thousand plus ultra again Thank you so much dude, appreciate it, appreciate it Like also genuinely, I'm not trying to miss cannons I've had people accuse me of going Huzz, you're just doing it because it's like a thing in videos now Nope, I promise you it's not 
I literally just cannot get ca um, cannon minions. I don't know why. I go for them and they just don't die at the right time. Wait, that also means I can't get first blood. Man. Also, it's a good thing because, like, you know, my team got, you know, double kill, but... Oh, hello. Hello, Viego. <laughs> Your Vladimir kind of completely gave away the gank. <laughs> Made me go the other way to you. <sighs> First Blood Tower, maybe? We'll see. <clears throat> oh, what? I thought that was a given, that one! You can't make it up. You literally cannot make it up. Oh. Well, that was a bad ult. You literally cannot make it up. It just died. It was literally, like, near enough half health. I go to auto-attack it and boom, it's dead. Are you serious? How? How? <laughs> Tilted. That jinx missed her mind. Oh. Is a bleeb be a lot is a oblivion orb worth rushing? No. Hey you have a boy. The funny thing is, my farm has actually improved since pre-season. That's just how bad it was. <laughs> well, actually, apart from the, the last Vex game we played, that game, oof. I just couldn't farm that game. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, she's dead. Literally over the moon that I've got a cannon. Yeah, that's the philosophy. That's skids. Why buy anti-heal when I can just try to one-shot? That is, in essence, the plan. That was weird. Ow. This is what I'm worried about. I just don't know as a Vex can I do anything to a Vlad. I'm not sure. Stuck by an minion, then. Um, it's like maybe I should have picked Victor. Again, I had to blind pick. I think. I, I couldn't. Um, I yeah. I didn't know who I was against in mid lane. So. Did is that our blue? No. Like my blind picks in mid what? My blind picks in mid at the moment. Vex Victor. And what well, Mal's occasionally I would say. We got wrecked.
<laughs> yeah, Vlad is definitely going to be a problem. I Bad matchup, I guess. I just can't do anything because like, I play Vex to kill people in lane. What was that? Um, and I can't kill him. Yeah, he has a cull, which... I didn't even think that works. Or is that cull because he's... Oh, no, that's a rallier items. And the thing is, a Vladimir can carry a game, but we'll see. We have a good comp. And, like, I still can go absolutely ham and cheese later. It is definitely possible. I'm just happy so far in my placements we actually haven't had a chem map because the next dragon's chem, so it's not going to be the map. So that's good. I think, annoyingly, I will have to buy a Morello this game. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. She got the dragon. I'm getting outskilled by a Viego. <clears throat> oh, and Camille's there. Camille teleported for nothing. At least we get the uh, the dragon. Oh. 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 Well. At least we got it. Again, Viego, Viego should definitely be permabanned, but I'm using my ban on Yone, who's also another permaband, so... I don't know what other people banned. What did other people ban? On my team, someone didn't ban anything, so whoever didn't ban anything, that's stupid. They should have banned Viego. There's so... Don't be the player that bans nothing. There's so many champs in League that deserve a ban. It's a wait. Oh, it's a waste not to ban something in modern day league. Well, this makes me a lot more vulnerable. No tower. Oh, I got out skilled. Okay. That was fun. This is unfortunate going to be a bad situation for me now. Because I've just... We've got a fed Vlad and a fed Viego. Two champs you don't want to be fed. Especially Viego. Again, without being salty or whatever, I would say, as a big statement, Viego is the worst design champion in League history. And I will say, the new champion that is coming out is designed by the same person. Raya August. And even he's, by the way, I will say, he's memed quite a lot already since the, the announcement of the new champion going, maybe this one will be balanced. He's literally said that himself. He knows Viego is not balanced. Part of me thinks that they made him overpowered on purpose, though. I will say that. Because for a whole year, the storylines were about Viego. So if you made Viego weak and he was pointless to play, well, that would be kind of bad. So if they make him overpowered, then he's always going to be played. Uh, Sugar Daddy, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the Year Club. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I was never going to get there in time, obviously. I don't have Predator. I could really use less friends. But they did okay, considering. Let me guess, he's back to being full health. Yep. God, I hate that champion. This is as far as my Might have to actually officially look up what's more common to pick in percentage. Is Yone more popular? Or, ooh, that's good. Which one is picked more? Because maybe that's the one I should ban now. Because again, I don't think you need to ban Cat anymore. The strength of Cat was mainly teleport. And so... But I do think Yone's probably picked more than Viego. Alright, I need to go back and get my Mythic. Oh, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. I don't know why they were there. Whoa. Late game champion, by the way, is Vladimir. I wouldn't say I ran away from them. Apparently. More like well, they died. <clears throat> nice. Vione's picked 17.2%. Viego's picked 13.2%. So, yeah, by like 4%. That is actually quite a big difference. Silent Storm NC, 11 months. Appreciate it, man. I guess I go bot. Just don't, again, this was just the wrong champion to pick this game, but here's the problem. I didn't know what to do because I had to blind pick. So it's like, what else do I do? It's the unfortunate thing when you have to pick before the enemy. Um. It's constant out of position. This Vlad might be one of those split pushing Vlads, though, which is really weird. If I knew I was against a Vlad, I mean, Mal's probably pro would have been alright. Annie, probably, for better singular burst. <clears throat> Even Victor, definitely. I just think Vex, definitely not into a Vlad. There's, unfortunately, of my champion pool mid, of my mages, this is probably the worst mage that I could have played against a Vlad. And now he's immune. Well, again, why, why, why can he go immune? That's what I don't get. That shouldn't be allowed. That would make him a lot better straight away as if he didn't go immune. You know? That would be better. <clears throat> Wait, I played with... God, I'm playing with so many people that I recognise. I played with this person a few days ago as well. Powder is a jinx. It was something like that. I'm pretty sure it was that name. I recognise the name. Guys, you are so overextended. What? Good stun. Not even sure I can push this tower because if Viego comes, I'm dead. Okay, time to take it down a level. Um. There he is. So I knew he was probably bot lane, that's why I didn't go for the tower. Shame I don't get the gold for it. Well, a bit. <coughs> so Camille's now grouping. Hello. Screw you, Viego! <laughs> yes, I go! <laughs> See, we can still make plays, guys. We can still make plays. Even though this game has been terrible for me. 
we can still do it. I just have to aim for the really squishy Nami. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How's that fair? Does million damage and out heals everybody anyway. Okay. Yeah, Predator Tarek. I've seen this before and apparently it has something to do with landing his stun because obviously Tarek struggles. He needs to have fast movement speed to do that. So it's apparently for that. It's apparently to enable him to actually land his stun. This, it does feel though that Tarek is completely clueless of what he's doing. He's just walking around, just kind of feeding. Maybe a Diana big ulti or something here could work. Oh, they killed that really fast. Enemy team is so much stronger. Uh, Ricky Saucer, how's it going, dude? 85 months tier 1 sub with an 85 month streak. Absolutely insane. I don't know. Again, we're 1 and 2 not being able to do much, but like, we have a 10 death bot lane. Which, that's never going to help either, is it? Is he weird? He's been... Is his positioning odd again? Yes, it is. Feels bad, man. I guess I just don't blind pick Vex anymore, because, like, if someone picks Vlad, what the hell do you do? Vlad just gets fed for free, pretty much. See you later, Hextech Jinx. <sighs> we'll see. Who knows? Oh my god. Really? I'm not even going to get the cannon. Ah, I got it. Screw you. It's my lane. I'm mid. What do you mean? Pinging me for taking my own cannon. I'm not crazy, right? What just happened? Well, that's bad. I was like, oh, free pick. And then they just disappear like Houdini. What's up with that? Oh, I got Cannon! Hacking. He's hacking. Hey, Dutch Dirt. We all just left the mid at the same time. Ah. I got exhausted. Diana died to Viego. Uh, Teo War, 18 months tier 1. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. His damn. Oh, V. We just don't have an answer to their team. Like, Camille's done nothing this game, 0-5, but it's just these two. It's not even the bot lane. Vlad, again, my fault, I guess, picking Vex, but he's had a, I can't control Vlad as a Vex. And then they've got a Viego, which is always fun and balanced. So it's like, what the hell do you do? I don't know. 
what I've been trying to do this game in mid-game is like obviously not focus the Vlad, focus the things that we can get momentum off, but then Vlad and Viego do their thing. And then everything doesn't really matter. Ooh. Yay! Okay. And he's fine. Ooh. And this is my point. Like, what is Viego, man? It's just not fair to play against that champion. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, again, I'll be uploading it. As I said, I'm uploading every placement. So we've had two Ufi Vex games. And I think they're two Vex games that I... I think, actually, no, I've blind-picked every match. Apart from top. So maybe I should just stop play picking Vex blind-pick, I guess, is the story. Because, like, there are some really bad matchups That you just don't have control over your lane opponent, and that's a problem. Just couldn't control a Vlad. Damn. Alright. Well, lesson learned, I guess. I think at least for the rest of the placements, I'm not going to be blind picking Vex. So we went 2-4-3. Obviously didn't gain any or lose any. Damage-wise, doing third most. Obviously my bot lane doing worse, though. But Vlad doing a lot of damage. Oh, again, just very annoying. Just feels unsatisfying, I don't know. But anyway, that's a Vex game five. Three wins, two losses. So the first five games, we have a positive win rate. So that's okay. Um, and yeah, I think a lesson has been learned of don't blind pick this champion at the moment. So yeah, again, I want to play this champ. But again, if you get a matchup like that, you're going to have a very fed Vladimir. And, he, you know, he didn't even get a lot of kills in the early game. He just got a lot of farm. And then eventually I can't keep him in lane. So then with Predator, he can just roam bot lane. Kind of like the old teleport meta in a way. But uh, yeah, annoying. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Learning is ha Well, learning all the time, I guess. So I've learned not to do that now. But if you guys enjoyed the video, at least do throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. regime I know how to unleash eternal power